Hey guys, I'm back with another video. And in this video, we are going to see how can we connect our .NET MAUI app running in Android and iOS to a RESTful API, which is hosted on our local system, on local host. So I already created a video for this topic in which I showed you how can you connect your emulator, Android emulator and iOS emulator to host API. I'm going to drop the link of that video in the description box, pinned comment and i box on the top. So I would recommend you guys to check out that video and this video is going to be a continuation of that video or you could say part two of that video. And in this video, we are going to see how can we connect to HTTPS APIs running on localhost. In previous video, we saw with HTTP and now we'll see HTTPS. So without wasting any time, let's get started. I have this basic app. Uh, there is nothing fancy in this. It was default template. I simply changed this text this button stacks to call API and I am simply creating HTTP client generating base URL and simply connecting with the default uh, HTTP API and I was simply added a debugger point here and I was simply reading this data. So that's all we have done in previous video and now we'll continue on this. So first thing let me run the app so that we can see it in a live mode main page dot xml on this we had this button this counter button this call api so first thing let's change this button's text so it should say call api let's say local host or call local host api http call local host api http and now i'm going to copy this button paste it one more time we don't need this X name and here we'll say HTTPS HTTP and the second button is HTTPS and this clicked handler I'm going to create one more go here and simply rename this to call HTTPS API button click something like this copy and update this and we are good now continue editing I'm going to copy the same thing here and paste it and this time it should be HTTPS and let's check what is our HTTPS port so we'll go to our solution explorer in the solution we had this localhost maui.api project and this properties launch settings we'll see http port is 5167 which we already using and https port is 7167 so we'll modify this 5167 to 7167 and https await missing and this time let's uh, display this data so on main page .xaml, we have this label right this label We'll add a name here. Uh, let's do label only. Or well, let's say API response. Response. And after reading the data, we'll simply say API response dot text equals data. And same thing we'll do in HTTPS. Okay. Now Let's stop it. First thing, we'll run our API. So we have our API here. We'll say hmm, debug start without debugging. And it is running. We can see it. This is running. We can make the request. 
try it out, execute and we can get the data. And this is running on HTTPS 7167 and HTTP 5167. Fine. Now we'll run our .NET uh, MAUI application. Okay, app is here. If we click on call localhost HTTP API breakpoint hit and we can continue we can check the data and if we continue we can see the data here so this is working now let's try https click on this breakpoint hit and here it throws java security cert dot cert path validator exception trust anchor for the certification path not found so this is how the HTTPS calls work from here it is trying to this Android device our API is trying to make an HTTPS call and when we run our .NET API on HTTPS it actually runs on localhost so it creates and sign a certificate because HTTPS means there should be some SSL certificate in this case our localhost issues that certificate so our .NET app it trusts uh, our basically ASP.NET Core API it trusts the certificate but this .NET MAUI from we running under Android, Android does not trust that certificate. If that is not a uh, let's say uh, trusted or standard issuer. So we need to somehow tell Android that we trust this certificate. So you should not throw this exception, you should continue this request. So that's the thing we are going to tell Android and for that the request this HTTP client is making that request and if we go to HTTP client definition we can see there is one more constructor which gets HTTP message handler as a parameter right so this HTTP handler parameter we go here HTTP client constructor so you see this is the default which we are calling and when we call this it uses this constructor using this constructor chaining and it passes a new instance of HTTP client handler if we go to this HTTP client handler this is being derived from this HTTP message handler which is responsible for all the settings configuration related to that particular http call in our case providing uh, that certificate options all these things security configuration all this is being done from this http message handler and now we need to provide our own implementation to this http message handler where we will say that we trust this localhost certificate so instead of using this default HTTP client handler we will use our own HTTP client handler so for that and that would be platform specific so platform specific we need to provide implementation for all the platforms we support so for that first thing instead of directly getting this HTTP client let's create a new class on the root only I am creating let's say HTTP client service something like this you can call it whatever you want and in this we will create a method which will return HTTP client let's say get HTTP client or we could say get platform specific HTTP client platform specific HTTP client and from here we will return our HTTP client and we will use instead of calling this HTTP client you could inject that service if you want for now I am just using this HTTP client service dot get platform specific HTTP client like this now when we go to this get platform specific HTTP client we need to pass that handler so that handler should come from platform 
so for that we have two approaches either we can have conditional compilation so we'll decorate it if this is android and then do this and if this is ios do this or second approach would be to having this logic separate in platform specific folder so i'm going to follow the platform specific folder approach so for that first thing i need to make it partial and then here i will create a partial method public partial and it will return http message handler and we'll say get platform specific http message handler message handler and we are not providing body for this because this body is going to be specific to the platforms so it will come from platform only then we'll use this thing here we can say message handler this and then we'll pass this message handler or let's say http message handler to this http client now it is going to call the second method this one where we are passing our handler which actually has that logic which will bypass the localhost ssl certificate check cool clean this up now we need to provide body for this in let's stop it in the platform specific folders so we'll copy this name we'll go to platform android create a new class with the same name and it should be the public partial only because we are making it we are providing the logic and when this is partial so partial classes should match the namespace so it should be only localhost maui not this clear this up and here we need to provide body for this method so let's come here in here we'll do this and we'll provide body for this here okay so what should be in the body so we have a android specific http message handler which is let's say android http handler we have android message handler which comes from xamarin.android.net we'll return this android http handler from here android http handler if we check this android message handler source we can see this is being derived from http message handler this is what we want and if we check all the properties we have this one property here which is server certificate custom validation callback so and this is enable so how this works first it will try the default check after that it will check if we have provided value for this if we provided value for this then it will execute this this is a func delegate so it, it will execute it and if return true it will allow the request if it returned false it will simply uh, cancel the request it will throw the exception so we need to provide body for this property so let's copy this so that we can have the actual uh, signature and name let's use this one here Hmm. it requires it will receive four parameters and it will return a boolean so for that let's use these four parameters in here <coughs> hmm. http request message let's call it certificate then x509 chain and then SSL policy errors. These are the errors which got before calling this method. Okay, and it should return a boolean. For now, let's return true only. Return true to check what we got here. Cool, we'll add a breakpoint here to check what we are receiving in all these things. Okay, 
now let's run it app is here let's use this call https put a breakpoint continue and nothing is happening and that's because our api is not running top run the api debug start without debugging api is running let's run the maui app click on this continue and we got here so if we check this certificate this is that ssl certificate and if we try to debug see all the properties under this we'll see we have the issuer name property which again has a name property which has this value which is c and equals to local host so this is the issuer for this certificate so for local host ssl certificate provider this is the issuer name so we need to check this and we need to pass this allow verify certificate that is we go there stop hmm. so here we'll check if the certificate dot issuer name dot name or we have this issuer helper property here dot issuer so that we can directly check this if this is equals to the cn equals to local host if this is the case we should return true if this is not the case we should return false so what if this is true and we got other errors this ssl policy errors we should handle that case as well so we'll add it if certificate issuer is the cn equals to localhost that means our localhost uh, https certificate or we got some uh, we are not getting any other error ssl policy errors equals ssl policy errors dot none then we will return true so either this is localhost or we did not get any error then it should return true if this is not the case it should return false false means we are not allowing we are actually cancelling this request we do not trust the ssl certificate that's what this means okay now let's try to run it again api running yes api is running https continue we got here this time return true continue and we have an exception hostname 10022 not verified certificate this dn so hostname is not verified so this thing works with dotnet 7 but with dotnet 6 there is this issue but i don't know how it is connected to dotnet but it is related to android so we are going to fix it currently it says hostname 10022 not verified so we will what we did for certificate the same thing we will do for this hostname we will bypass the hostname chat so for that what we can do in here if we go to android message handler this Mm -hmm. here we have this get ssl hostname verifier which is a method we can override and this comes from i hostname verifier this interface so we need to provide an implementation for this interface and that will use as a written type of this method 
so for that first let me copy this and here we'll create a class it can be private class <clears throat> so class and let's say local host um, host name verifier host name verifier and we need to implement this interface and this interface has so many things but we don't need all of these we can bypass these by using object class from java.lang so now if we implement it it still has all these why because object is ambiguous between java lang object and this is dot net object so we need this object from java lang object so we have uh, java lang so we could say object equals this object and we don't need all of these now now if we check stop we need to just provide body for this method verify so in this verify we have this host name so we'll simply check this host name and then we'll pass it so we can do host name if host name equals we know in our case host name is insert then oh number lock ten zero two two this is our host name hmm. if this host name is here we will simply return true from here we are allowing this right if this is not then we'll return false now this will uh, check only our case but the way we use this thing ssl policy errors for other errors here also we need to check for other error. for that we have an implementation of this i hostname verifier which is https url connection dot default hostname verifier which is of type i hostname verifier only and here we can say verify hostname and session we got in the parameter we'll simply pass these if this was true this is the first check if it already got passed then also we'll return true so we'll add this thing here first if this was true then no need to check anything if this was not true in our case it will be false so then we'll verify we'll check if the host name if this request is coming from our local host this 10022 then also we'll allow this if that is not the case we'll simply return false so now we have this local host name verifier now we need to use this in this android message handler for this get ssl hostname verifier so for that what we can do we can have another class which will be an implementation of this android message handler so we could say android or oh, let's say localhost android localhost android message handler it will be derived from android message handler and here we'll simply override the method get ssl hostname verifier or from here we will return this or let's say we will provide that the type of verifier the i host name uh, name verifier it should use this local host name verifier 
we will say new local host name verifier now we are using android message handler instead of this we'll use local host android message handler here like this and now we should be good so all this is not required with dotnet 7 i tried you can try it in dotnet 7 you don't need any of these this thing should work but if it does not work in dotnet 7 as well then you can go with this route okay <clears throat> so let's clean this up and let's run it app is here let's try https this time if we run it what happened is the api running no api is not running okay stop run the api mm. debug start without debugging set as startup fine run the app app is here let's try this this time and we got response which is 200 we got data continue and data is here so finally everything is working let's check the http the default one that should work now that is not working let me check what happened oh my bad i accidentally removed something let me revert that I was checking something so I commented this line out but I reverted it and now let's see if both of the calls work let's try HTTP first and it worked this time let's try HTTPS continue and this also worked so we got the data for both of these so far so good on android this is working what we have done we have created this method in that we created a derived class of android message handler there we overridden get ssl hostname verifier method and we created this class to bypass the hostname 10022 and then we provided this property this func delegate to bypass the check for this localhost ssl certificate okay now we'll see how to run https on ios so for that let's go to our mac hello so we are on mac now and i just ran the application on android emulator and we can check on http it is working on https you could say it is working on https as well on android now we'll see how to get it working on ios so let me stop it first choose the ios emulator let's run it partial method must have an implementation part so yes we need to have the partial method we need to provide body for that partial method so we had that http client service on root for common then in android folder we have this http client service let's copy this and add it to ios folder okay and we cannot use these java libraries in here so let's remove those and let's get rid of everything for now for now let's say return null remove everything okay 
so in ios for this http message handler we have something called nsurl session handler this class if you go to its definition go to definition what is it handler equals view and let's return this handler for now go to definition window d why is it not going to definition okay it's not going to definition but i can tell you this is a derived class of http message handler that's why we cannot see any error here so we can simply return this handler which is of type nsurl session handler and the parent type is http message handler okay so the same way we had server certificate property on android in ios in this nsurl session handler we have a property trust override for ur this is a property cannot navigate i don't know why it is not working find or go to implementation and it is not working i updated my uh, this vs4 mac recently maybe that caused this issue i don't know okay so i can tell this requires this needs this ns url session handler trust override for url callback this is the type of this property which is a delegate ns url session handler trust override for url callback which takes three different properties and returns boolean so the properties it has first one is this sender so in this case we could say nsurl session handler sender this type uh, this type which you can see here then the second is the url and the third one is secure trust sec trust for now we'll simply say return true and we will check or maybe before that let's not do anything let's simply what is happening it is my mac is acting weird okay for now let's not use anything let's see the default behavior how it behaves uh, let's run oh maybe was it in running state that's why i was not able to go to the definition no okay let's run it and what is this okay let me try to clean and build it again so we have a problem here i recently updated vs4 mac and now with xcode and this vs code we have a version mismatch error version dependency it needs xcode 14.3 or later which i don't have right now i have 14.1 only so i need to update that but for this i can show you what you can try so from here we'll simply 
the thing we need to do we can skip all these things we just need to care about this url part and from this delegate we will simply say that return sorry we are on single line so we'll simply check this url it has the complete url and if you remember if you go to uh, our main page.xaml.cs and that is here the url for mac that is https localhost 7167 and the complete url so we need to just check if it is coming from localhost so we'll go here and we'll check if this url if this starts with the https localhost will simply return true from here so we are actually overriding the default functionality the check server certificate ssl check we are simply overriding that and we are saying if you are starts with http localhost don't do anything simply return true from here we rush this certificate that's all we are doing here and then we are returning this handler so like this it should work so please do check this out if it does not work maybe let me know in the comments and i'll try to update my xcode and i'll try to uh, show you guys if this is working how this is working okay so that's all for this video please like this video if you like my content and share this video subscribe my channel and uh, you can check the previous video previous part of this where i showed you how to connect with http endpoints so yeah that's all